so I thought it was gonna be interesting to follow my own makeup tutorial and see what happens if I'm capable to follow my own advice and rules so I did Clara again uh, I hope you find this video fun and if you couldn't see the other one maybe this one is helpful as well uh, there's a little bonus extra features in this one because I show slightly how I did my hair it was quite hard to film as the French braiding needs to be shown from front and from the back I actually use double mirrors to do it um, so I'm, I'm actually thinking of making a completely separate video for that for hairstyles that I use for ballet and it's this is definitely useful, useful for uh, street looks as well so this video can be useful for a lot of people. Uh, also there's a little fun uh, explanation about uh, which kind of pointures do I use for this show, which I think it can be interesting for different Claras. And so I hope you enjoyed the video, I definitely did have fun doing this again on camera, so let me know if you liked it. So I'm, I don't even have the other video in front of me. I'm doing this by memory. Uh, I have my gingerbread spice palette in front. Uh, if I don't remember wrong, I was using powdered sugar, a little bit of sugar daddy, the hot toddy sparkly one, and the pop of color with gumdrop. So I'm gonna start by applying uh, one even layer of the lightest shadow, which is powdered sugar, all over my lid.
Then I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the sugar daddy, which is more pink, just on the bottom lid. Don't really remember if I did this, but there's really no big difference anyway. More pink. I, I, I do remember using this after. So I don't think I'm making any mistakes so far. Then, with the contour blush, uh, that one, the diagonal one, I'm gonna dip into the hot toddy. And again, the idea is to go for more rounded shape. So, the what I want to do is to add this color inside my lid. Try not to go out of it. So I try to define this line and then go inside. So still dipping in the same color. And I think I do have my round shape. Then I think with this liner brush I used the reindeer pods which is some kind of dark brown, brownish purplish, I remember I said on the other video. I'm going to line my eye only from the middle to the outside. Is that right? Is that how I did it? Because I wanted to avoid making it look like I was wearing eyeliner to have a more natural look. So the eyeliner should stop right about there where the, the colored part of your eye is because uh, having a light shadow in this part of the eye it, the, the line is more obvious so we're gonna try to avoid putting any line there so it doesn't look like, we're wear like we are wearing eyeliner extra shadow on the brush we're gonna define a little more that rounded part of the eye that we did before the wrong colors last time and again it doesn't look pink enough we are going to add a little bit of the gumdrop just little tapping on it because it's very pigmented and I apply on top and we blend 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 and last beautiful step of my Sephora glittery sticky hotspot shadow stick Shadow stick 21 pink, pink glitter and we put a little bit here because sparkles are always welcome and it gives a little bit of coldness to the colors in my eye which I want because this is exactly the color of the dress just the dress is not sparkly unfortunately Before I go to lashes, I'm gonna finish the rest of the face with my favorite tool ever, Cocoa Contour by Too Faced. I'm dipping in the light cocoa, which is the lightest color, very light, and applying on top of the concealer. And then the medium cocoa, which is the semi dark brown, we contour the cheeks. I go again on the white. You know, this is what it's amazing about this is that I can dip it in in any of the dark, well, uh, missing dark colors. But I could dip it in on this and then go on the white, and it doesn't get dirty. It's that pigmented; it just covers it. It's amazing. 
and we go a little bit of blush. Did I do blush last time? I should have done blush. I don't think I forgot. Pink blush. I don't really like blush generally, but for Clara, it's a must. Then again, I'm postponing the eyelash issue. Just in case I ruin everything, just do it at the end to not get extra upset. Uh, I'm gonna do lips. I have this vari variety of pinks here. Uh, I used this too last time. This unique pink uh, Sephora lipstick that... It, uh, it's a different pink for every person. And then this uh, random pink gloss. And then I have this. This is a cream lip stain. Shade 606. Uh, I like to use it because it defines my lips a lot. Then we can add the other pinks on top. But at least when those fall off, this will stay. And now I can go on top with this. The unique pink bun. And then the gloss. I think uh, this step will make the color pop out through the whole show instead of just fading out. And uh, I cannot delay it anymore, so we're gonna go do eyelashes. So, does it look any similar to? What I did last time. Let's take a closer. So the fun fact about Clara is that I'm gonna be using these point shoes for first tag that as you can see they don't have any ribbons on it. I have those ready for second tag where I have to do a little more technique so they hold my ankles a little better but for first fact I decided to do this. Why? Because I've done Clara in other versions and one thing that always bothered me was to have three point shoes at a moment. So in, during the battle scene, I'm wearing two point shoes and then I pretend to take a point shoe off and suddenly I have a third point shoe in my hand and I kick the Rat King with it. Or even worse, I pretend that I kick the Rat King with nothing in my hand. What if someone takes a picture of that moment? It just doesn't make any sense to have two point shoes and then nothing in your hand or to have three point shoes. So I thought of, an, of a way to taking my poncho off on stage and then putting him back on. And this is the, uh, the trick. So first thing I'm do, normally when I wear uh, ponchos, I wear my tights, then protector, then this tight on top. So it slides easier inside the poncho. But today, for Clara, what I do is I do it the other way. So I have bare toes, wait. So I have bare toes, then I wear the tight, then the protector, so I don't sweat on it so much. I don't like the feeling of this uh, plastic material directly on my foot. And then I put the tight on top. I try to pull it in as much as I can, even if it's like this. And I wear the point shoe. So, if I need to take it out and then put it back in fast, I can do it. So I thought that this is a fun thing to do for Clara, especially because I, in, in this version I don't have much technique to be worried about for the first act, so I can actually take my point off and put it back on without feeling worried that I'm not going to be comfortable or something. Uh, other Claras here didn't want to do this because it, it is a little bit of a headache, honestly. You have very little time and you go straight into the adagio with the print, so... It is a little bit risky, but honestly, if you try it and you feel comfortable, you don't have to be worried about anything. So. 